Hello and welcome back to Principles of Engineering again. So today we're going to be learning about two the two main different types of circuits, uh, series and parallel circuits. Uh, so these resistors are uh, arranged in series. So in the series, all, all the uh, the resistors are arranged one after the other. Okay, there's there's no branching out or anything. Everything is is in one loop. Um, whereas in parallel we have branching off, so the current can uh, can go uh, down any one of these branches. Whereas in the series circuit, the current has to go through uh, just the one loop. It's only got one path to follow, so the current is the same everywhere. Uh, whereas in a parallel circuit, the the current's going to change. It's going to be different down these different branches if there are different resistors. Uh, so if we were to look at this example here. Uh, would this represent a series or a parallel uh, system of the batteries? Well, uh, and what about this one? So which one would this one be? Okay. Well, this one is, is a single loop. So this would be our series. The, the cars go into one battery, then the other. Um, whereas here, the cars uh, can choose a, can quote unquote, choose a branch. Some of the cars go through the this the top battery, and some of the trucks go through the the lower battery, and then they they join back up again, uh, and all go back in, through the light. So that's in parallel. So this is a, a good uh, a good picture of the difference between series and parallel. So if I follow one of these one of these uh, positive charges, okay, I go through one resistor, and then I go through the next resistor. Every particle, every every electron, goes through the battery. And it goes through both resistors. So the current is the same everywhere. Whereas here, okay, uh, the, the, all the current exits the battery and then it splits. And some of the, the, the current goes down the first resistor and some of the current goes down the next resistor. Now these resistors are the same, which is why the, the current is the same for both of them. Um, and notice that the current loops back together and joins back to the battery. So, these two currents are going to add up to be whatever the current is uh, exiting or ent ent entering the, the back of the battery. Um, so now if we look at again, which one is this one? Is this series or parallel? Okay, this one is series because the, there's only one loop to follow. Um, notice that the, the battery pumps up the, the electrons or protons in this case. And then uh, the, they lose some of their voltage on the first resistor, and then they lose the, the rest of the voltage on the on the second resistor. So the current is the same everywhere, but the voltage drops across uh, the differently across the uh, resistors. Um, whereas, so here we've got two resistors, and they're they're different resistance. Uh, we've got our battery pumping up the electrons. The electrons don't lose any energy uh, along the wire. Notice that they lose more voltage uh, across the uh, the resistor with the higher resistance. So in here across the 10, we don't lose as much, but then we get back down to zero volts and the battery pumps it up to whatever nine volts it is. And then we lose so many volts here and then so many volts here. Um, so, all right. Now, to solve these uh, circuits, um, this might look complicated. It's not really that complicated, but this is a little chewy. It, it, there, there is, there is some, some meat to this. So when you're doing a, uh, a series circuit, the current is the same everywhere. Okay? The current is because the, the electrons don't have any branches to follow, so the, the current is the same everywhere. Um, the voltage drops across each resistor, which they're calling V1. The voltage drop across that is V2 and V3. They add up to the voltage drop across the battery. So uh, I might lose, uh, just making up a number, I might lose 2 volts here, I might lose uh, 6 volts here, and I might lose uh, 4 volts here, and that would add up to my 12 volts. So the, the voltage drops have to add up to the, 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 the voltage of the battery, which they're calling VT for, for V total. Um, the total resistance of the circuit, which is sometimes called the equivalent resistance, is just you add up the resistances. So uh, you add up the resistances and that gives you the total of the resistance. Okay. All right. So uh, first find the total resistance. Okay. Uh, RT, R total equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. Just add them up. 
Then you're going to find uh, the current. And what you're going to use is the current out of the battery equals the total current times the total resistance. Now, VT is just the, the voltage out of the battery. And RT is what you just found up above where you added them all up. So now that that's that gives you IT, which is the current everywhere. So this this is important, by the way. Okay. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to use V equals IR to find the voltage drop across each resistor. Okay. Where the voltage drop across resistor one is going to equal the IT that you just found. Okay. The total current times the resistance uh, R1, and that'll be the voltage drop here. The voltage drop across here will be the current times this resistance. The voltage drop across here will be the voltage times this resistance. And then at the end, verify that your, your voltage drops add up to be uh, the voltage of, of your battery. Okay, so going through an example. First off, find the, uh, the, the total resistance, step one. Okay, so add them up. So 220 ohms plus 470 ohms plus 1.2 kilo ohms. Now, this is in kilo ohms, so we've got to convert that into ohms. What does kilo stand for? What, what number? Kilo means a thousand, so this is 1.2 thousand, so 1200. So uh, 220 plus 470 plus 1200 gives you that your RT is equal to 19 uh, or 1900 uh, ohms. Okay, so that's no big deal. Easy, easy peasy. Find your total resistance. The next thing you do is you find your, your total current. And to do that, use V equals IR. Here they've already solved it for I. You don't, I don't know why they did that, but V equals IR, but they solved it for I. You use your voltage out of the battery, which is 12, uh, and you use the total uh, resistance that you just found. Okay, so we get 0 0.0063 amps, or 6.3 milliamps. Okay. So now that's the current going through each of the resistors. Okay. The next thing you do is to find the voltage drop across each resistor. So we're going to find the voltage drop across resistor 1. So we multiply the current, which is 0 0.0063 amps, which is the same for all of these, times R1, which is 220. So we get a voltage drop of 1.397 volts. Then we find the voltage drop across, uh, v, uh, across resistor 2. It's the same current, because the current's the same everywhere, times the resistance of 2, which is 470. So we got 2.984 volts. And then we, we measure, uh, we figure out the voltage drop across resistor 3, which is, again, the same current, times the, resi the resistance of R3, which is 1,200. Uh, tw I don't know why they put it in kilo ohms here, but it should be 1,200. Uh, all right, so these are the voltage drops across the resistors. They, they should add up to be... The voltage of the battery. So when I add these three voltage drops, okay, then I get that the 12 volts equals 12 volts. I, I know I probably did it right. So that is a series circuit. Um, now if you disconnect uh, any part of a series circuit, okay, the, the current stops flowing because the current's only got one path to follow. So where this is an open circuit and current will stop. This is why uh, old school Christmas lights used to be such a nightmare. Because if any one of those light bulbs burned out, the whole strip burned out. Uh, and the only way you could, you could figure out which one was, uh, was bad is by testing each and, and every individual light bulb. Uh, so now currently uh, most light bulbs are wired in, in parallel, well, a combination of series and parallel, which we're not going to get into in this class. But um, they are wired at least partially in parallel. Okay, just when things started to hopefully make some sense, we're going to introduce, uh, go back to parallel circuits. And parallel circuits are different. Um, parallel circuits, so you've got the battery, it pumps up the voltage. We don't lose any voltage until we get two resistors. And then we, we split, the, the current splits between these two resistors. Uh, notice that each a resistor has the same voltage drop, which is indicated by the same elevation drop. There's nothing else to uh, to drop the, the voltage or the potential. So each, the voltage is the same. The voltage drop is the same for each resistor, uh, but the current isn't necessarily. So in this case, the both resistors are the same. So the current is the same in each one. Now, if we if we switch that, now we have our 30 ohm and our 10 ohm resistor. Um, 
which which resistor do you think we're going to get more current flowing through, the 30 ohm resistor or the 10 ohm resistor? Well, if you follow the picture, it looks like we're getting a lot more current flowing through the uh, the 10 ohm resistor. Uh, it would be three times as much current, as a matter of fact, uh, as through the uh, the 40 ohm resistor. Um, I think so, wouldn't it? I think so. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, um, and, and so, but they both have the same voltage drop, the same voltage drop, different currents. Okay. That's, that's kind of, uh, the opposite of what, what it was with the series. So this is what you do, uh, to, to find the, uh, the, uh, parallel circuits, how to solve. First, find your total resistance and this total resistance. So just like before, we're going to find the, the total resistance, or the equivalent resistance of the circle of the circuit. But we've got a different form uh, form of the equation this time. So it's one over R T, which is what our, our answer that we want, equals one over R one plus one over R two plus one over whatever uh, plus one over whatever, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Then once we once we find the uh, um, the total resistance, we know the total voltage, which is just the voltage of the battery. And we use that to find the total current, IT, which is the current coming out of the battery before it splits off. Okay. And then we find each individual current. And we use uh, V equals IR to find the current. So um, now the voltage we use is the same for each one of these. When we do number three, when we find the individual currents going through each one of these branches, the voltage is the same because we've got 15 volts here and, and zero volts down here. Uh, this is a ground symbol. You don't have to worry about it. It basically means that we've got zero volts down here. So we've got 15 volts all along here and zero volts all along here. So we've got 15 volts pumping electrons through each one of these legs. So the voltage is the same, but the current's going to be different. We're going to have more current going through the 470 ohm resistor than we are the, the, the 2200 ohm resistor and the 3300 ohm resistor. Okay. And, and so we use V equals R to, to find those. And then we verify that the current, the currents add up to be the total. So let's, let's work. So first off, find the total, the total resistance. So this is, this is, they just rearranged that equation. So you do one over, one over 470 plus one over 2200 plus one over 3300. So, uh, there's different ways of doing this in your calculator. If you get start, try doing this on your, on your calculator, um, and, and see if you get the right answer. Uh, and if not, come to my office hours and I'll try to work with you. So this is 2200 and this is 3300. I, I don't know why they, they probably the way leaves it in kilo ohms here, but, uh, and you're going to get that your, your total resistance is, is 350 ohms. So, um, like I said, try this in your calculator or on a piece of paper and see if you can get that. Cause if not, um, we got to get you fixed up. So you know how to do that. Uh, come to my office hours and we'll, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it straightened up. Okay. Um, so now we know the total resistance. Um, we want to figure out the, uh, we want to figure out the, um, the current going through each resistor. Okay. So they're using I equals V over R, just V equals IR arranged. So the voltage for each one of these is going to be 15 because we said uh, the voltage is the same for each one divided by the current, but by, by divided by the resistance of R1, which is 470 ohms gives you, um, they round this to milliamps. So 0 0.032, uh, amps. Okay. So they've got these answers in milliamps. The, the, the current flowing through the, uh, through the, the middle resistor here, which is the, the 2200 ohm resistor. So 15 divided by 2200 is 0.0068 or 6.8 milliamps. And the, uh, and the current flowing through the, uh, the third leg is 15 divided by 3300, which is 0 0.0045 or 4.5 milliamps. Okay. Now the total resistance is equal to um, the voltage divided by the, the, the total resistance. So the total current is equal to the total resistance. Uh, let me try this one more time. I got this. The total current is equal to the, the total voltage divided by the total uh, resistance. Okay, which we, the, vol the total voltage is just that of the battery 
and the, the current of the resistance is what we found with that one over one over business. So verifying uh, Kirchhoff's law basically is that the currents have to add up to, to be the total uh, and that they, they do add up to be uh, zero. Okay, now let's take a look at the same, the similar picture to what we had on the previous uh, slide for a series circuit. If I remove one of these light bulbs, let's say I remove this light bulb here, what's going to happen to this light bulb here? Well, absolutely, well, that's flip side. Absolutely nothing uh, happens to the other light bulb. Uh, it doesn't even get brighter or anything like that. Um, because the, the, if this is a, a 15 volt battery, I still have 15 volts uh, that's trying to drive current through this light bulb with or without this other light bulb. Now in the real world, batteries can't necessarily keep up uh, and maintain, maintain the voltage, so there would be a discrepancy in, in the real world. These are ideal batteries that can, that can maintain voltage under no matter what. This way, if one of your Christmas lights burns out, the rest of them stay lit and you can easily tell which light bulb uh, is, is the source of the problem. Um, let's see. So here, we're not going to be doing this uh, very much, but uh, series and parallel circuits. Uh, this is, uh, these two light bulbs are in parallel and then they're both in series with the, with this light bulb. This is if this is confusing, don't get don't get too hung up on this. Um, so if I remove light bulb one, what's going to happen to the other two light bulbs? They're both going to go out because I, I'm going to break the circuit right here. If I remove light bulb two, what's going to happen to the other two light bulbs? Um, well. This light bulb uh, and this light bulb are, are going to stay lit, and the shutter uh, is it current's going to go up or something. Yeah, whatever. Okay, and the last equation that we're going to deal with, and we're not going to deal with this much um, today, is electrical power. I just want to want you to see the this equation: uh, power equals current times voltage. Piv p equals I v, um, where p is the power, which is measured in watts. I is the electrical current and V is the, the voltage um, drop that, that's being used. Um, so that's, and, and that's really where we're going to stop today. So you've got, uh, you've got these examples to follow on, follow up on. Um, you know, so use these and, and, and when you do your homework and, and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and post these PowerPoints so you don't have to go through my whole video to find them. Uh, I'll put them somewhere. Um, and um, all right, do the best you can.